Hi, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to undo changes in Beaver Builder, including changes that you make to um, the content of your modules, but also changes you make to your actual layouts. So here I've got like a sample layout in Beaver Builder, um, and as you can see, you know, stuff is broken into different columns, and there's different kinds of elements on the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a change that I don't really uh, didn't really mean to make. So Let's go ahead and delete this and this and even the columns that they are part of. So there's actually no undo from here. I can't, I can't undo the layout changes I just made within Beaver Builder itself. So we might as well say done and publish. Now we've got this big missing piece. So what are we going to do? Well, Beaver Builder uses um, WordPress's uh, post version system revision system, which you can see here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit page and I'm going to right click, open in a new tab. I'm going to browse the revisions for this post, for this, uh, it could be any post type, but in this case, it's a page. And you'll see that we got rid of these two in the most recent revision. One minute ago, we got rid of these two elements. Now, this is just like normal HTML, right? This is what the page would look like if you turn Beaver Builder off. So you might be worried that even if we restore back to the previous revision that had these pieces, we're going to lose everything. But let's try it. This is the revision eight minutes ago where I was just sort of messing around and doing additional stuff. And you can see it's got our second important row in it, the thing that I just deleted. So I'm going to go back to this revision and restore it. Okay, and then I'm going to reload this page. You can see the rows back. So even though the revision browser in WordPress um, doesn't show any of the Beaver Builder stuff that um, is actually generating these layouts, like all the FL module markup, basically, that, that causes things to be laid out into rows and columns, um, it's still using the revision system. And if you restore... Um, a version of the post that you're working on that has the elements that you deleted or changed, um, it will come back properly in the page itself. And you can just reopen Beaver Builder and continue editing from there. 